We're getting ready to sight our bows in. Guy over here in this next field has got a sounds like a gas-powered airplane. Sounds like a tornado warning almost. I'm out here with this old guy. Probably have to do a lot of editing. He's a pretty vulgar person. First shot of the season with the crossbow at 25 yards. This is where we're at. I'd say that's pretty spot on. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Well, we just did the 35 yard shot. This is what we're looking at. This was my first one. This was my second one. Yeah. I. That was probably you. Moving. Just did the 45 yard test. That's pretty doable. I'm not touching it. Now we're going to go back 55 yards. Of course, I got to do all the walking. Ah, my back is all messed up. I can't do it. Fifty five yards. Fifty five yards sight in. Not so good. First shot is this arrow here. That was way off. Second shot's at least in the red. So I know I got some work there at fifty five yards. We're done sighting the bows in. Pretty easy. Came over here to check out these airplanes. Dad's got some model airplanes that he wants to sell. I don't think he's gonna be able to sell them. And they're just models that hang in his garage. All right. So I just got done sighting in my bow. Stopped over at Dunham's and picked up a new trail cam. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna open it up, get it hooked up so I can set it up outside. So, yeah. Really seal these things shut. Kind of a cheap strap, but whatever. And these things are small these days. Eight AA batteries to power this thing. So I bought the good ones. The lithiums. So it's powering up. No card. I gotta go get a memory card. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna have to read these instructions. Look at this. What does that even say? I don't even know. All right, so camera's all set up and I'm just going through my hunters digest as any good hunter should do 
so we can get combo tags here in Michigan. I don't know if that's the same for for other states. So what that means is you get a combo tag that can be used in archery, firearm, or muzzle loader. I always do a combo because you get two two licenses. So with a regular tag in archery season, you can take a doe or a buck with one antler at least three inches or longer. In my personal opinion, in Michigan, with the f how few big bucks we have, uh, especially when hunting state property, I really think that they should uh, raise that. And I'll show you why. This is what happens when you take one without being a four or more on one side. Let's... This is my first buck. You know, I had to just get the first one notched off so I felt better to take the other ones. Going forward though, I've told myself that I'm not gonna take anything unless it's got six or more points on it because it's really not worth hanging on the wall. Um, and it better be a big six if I'm gonna take it. This one, this six that I got, he was actually the biggest deer that I've ever taken, but his antlers weren't that big. He was really old, very mature. This one was way younger than this one, but had more points. So it really all depends um, where you're at and the growth, what they're eating. This one, which was a complete 12 point monster, I wish I could take credit for him. My buddy actually shot that uh, the year, I think it was 2013 he took that deer. And uh, I call that deer Vietnam because it sounded like a war when that deer came in and he shot that deer. It was just, it was crazy. So I didn't know what he was shooting. I thought he got in a gunfight with someone. So anyways, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Today's just kind of been revolved around hunting and, and getting ready for hunting. So I got the trail cam set up in the yard. I figured that out. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the grass cut. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll probably review some of the photos and see how they turned out and let you guys know. Well, there you guys have it. You guys saw the pictures and the videos from the new stealth game camera uh, that I picked up at Dunham's. I'm actually pretty happy uh, with the photos and I was kind of happy with the video. Not, I would probably never really use it, but um, it's a cool little feature. So again, you guys can go pick that up at Dunham's right now for, for pretty cheap. Thanks for watching the vlog today. Appreciate it.